Okay, hello. So um, we're back at the markets, uh, back in front of our charts. It's Monday, 21st August. So uh, yesterday we didn't really have much time to cover everything, um, but we got a comment or rather a request for one of our subscribers mentioning that uh, they want to talk about pound dollar. So we, we, yeah, we just record this uh, analysis for pound dollar right now, right before the week really gets started so that uh, you guys will, be, will know what you should be watching out uh, when when the market moves so um this is a h4 chart is pound dollar okay so let me just uh, look at the daily first okay so um you look at daily it's, it's actually pretty obvious that it's a downtrend i mean uh, right so you see we always do the same thing always look at the trend you look at the bigger picture right it's always the same thing but of course um you need experience to really uh, really decipher things okay so you can see it's a downtrend but, right, but, 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 just because it's a downtrend doesn't mean that uh, it's always um, going to go down, right? Now we're in the midst of a retracement. So if we look at structure-wise, um, the previous support, right, was here, okay? If you're not too sure how to find the support, just uh, use our line chart trick, right? Um, just look at the area which has the most uh, closest, right, which would be somewhere some around here, because there's one touch here. Uh, very close here and here, okay. I mean, you can also draw this one. This this zone, uh, basically this zone. If you not watch our other video talking about how um support and resistance levels are zone or singular level, uh, please go watch that. Okay, it's in our channel also. So anyway, um, price has a lot of room to retrace higher. Okay, in fact, in a smaller time frame, which is a H four, you see that uh there's a uh inverted head and shoulder. This is the left shoulder, this is the right shoulder, and uh, this, sorry, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. Okay, no matter how you draw the trend line, right, the neckline, you, you draw it like that, like that, or like that, right, it doesn't matter because the conclusion is still the same, right? The conclusion is that this neckline has been broken, and this uh, inverted head and shoulder has been confirmed, okay? More importantly, um, what we think about this uh, currency pair, Right, why we are bullish about it is because you look at the structure, right? Uh, this is a high, correct? This is a low. This is a higher high, and this is a higher low. So more than having a confirmation in terms of a chart pattern, we also have a like a bullish structure, right? Higher highs, higher lows, correct? However, now market, uh, it seems a bit tricky, right? Because uh, you have a low here, you have a high here, okay? But um, this next low is over here. So if you look at it over here, sometimes, not always, sometimes price have a tendency to do this first. Okay. Why would the market do that? Okay, because this is the swing low. A lot of weak uh, buyers would actually uh, put their stop loss here. Okay. So you, you try to understand the recurring um, pattern that we always talk about. We always thinking about structures. We always look at bigger picture, and we're also looking at our uh, stop losses. Where are the stop losses of most people? Okay, because we don't want to be most people. We want to put our stop loss at places where uh, the market is unlikely to go. At the same time, we want to enter right place a position where um most people have their stop loss at right because when they have their stop loss there, it means they're actually selling it to us. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of uh. A stop loss in this zone here. Okay, let me just uh, this zone here. Okay, hopefully if you are trading, uh, and you bought, uh, your stop loss is not here, because it's very likely that you'll be taken out. Okay, so we're probably looking at a shakeout over here, shakeout before it goes. Uh, you know, here. Okay, of course, um, that might not happen. Maybe this support might hold, and uh, you know, it, it might just come like that before it goes up. Okay, we we have to see. It takes a lot of experience, but um, we are not seeing at this moment if price comes down to this level that there's a trend reversal. Although this looks like a bit of a lower, uh, it will be a, it will be a lower low, correct? Because if price comes here, this low will be lower than this low, correct? But, uh, we haven't seen a reversal pattern, right? For I mean, if you want to short, then this is what you should see, okay? You should see that uh, price comes down, comes back up, okay, and then comes back down, uh, which is basically your um, head and shoulders, right? Symmetrical left and right, okay? But until that happens, um, you'll probably see uh, retracement higher, 
okay? So just watch out for this zone. And uh, if you are trading, please uh, try not to put your stop loss here. Okay, this would be a safer zone. Below the neckline as well as uh, below this swing low instead of this swing low. But um, I mean, don't, don't just go and buy now because uh, your stop loss is going to be like um, very wide and uh, it, the, the risk reward is not too good. So um, stay patient. I mean, the week just started, right? Just stay patient and uh, I'm sure the market will give a lot of opportunities. Okay, so uh, you have any questions about this pair or any other things you'd like to clarify, please write in to us because we want to hear from you, okay? Uh, we need to understand what kind of content you need, uh, what are your struggles so that we can come up with content uh, that addresses your problem. Because sometimes we, you know, like we think that this is your problem, but um, that's not your problem. So we just don't want to just create content just for sale content. Okay, we, although there are certain things that we feel is important, but if it's not helping you, please let us know. Okay, comment down below. Uh, write us an email. Um, yeah, then make sure you subscribe to this channel because we will be sure to answer any questions that you have. Okay, so today we'll see you in the next video.